Rocket League players have always been split into two types of categories, mechanical players and game sense players. It's pretty obvious which side is more popular, but in reality, mechanical versus game sense is a spectrum. Most players find themselves in the middle. Today, however, I would like to introduce you to a player who sits here on the spectrum. All game sense, no mechanics. He's champ too, yet he can barely do basic mechanics required for champ. He told me he never goes into free play and it kind of shows. We have a couple of goals today. First of all, I wanna see if I can help him with his mechanics and get him looking more like a champ. But the main thing I'm curious about is to see a game sense versus mechanical 1v1. It is brains versus skill. We're gonna start positively. What is one mechanic that you feel like you're you're not good at that you really want to learn? Um, wow, so many to choose from. Um, honestly, fast aerials would probably help me a lot. It's kind of wild to me that he needs help on fast aerials, a mechanic that I think is learned pretty early on for most players. Still, I am down to help this man. Oh my, these camera settings. This isn't even third person anymore. This is fourth person view. What do you guys think? Should I tell him that his camera settings are whack? Let's just see the fast aerial, I guess. So you can go ahead and like, you know, you don't have to do with the ball if you don't want. Um, I'm here and I've got to do like a fast aerial. Oh, uh, like more, uh, more vertical than out. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the only thing I can tell you is you just have to wait a little bit longer before you know, you use the second jump. Okay, I'm honestly not too concerned with his fast aerial. He's doing it fine when he doesn't backflip, but the camera settings are starting to hurt my eyes, so I have to tell him. I don't know if you have been told before, but your your camera settings are, I'll say, unique. Really? They're not what the standard camera settings are for Rocket League. In fact, if you are more of a ground player, these camera settings are going to be, are, are basically making it more difficult for you to hit ground mechanics. I think you guys all know what good camera settings are, and I try to convince him to change his. I even referenced the pros, showing him that literally 100% of them play with the same settings, give or take a few very small adjustments. Still, he was not convinced and did not want to change his camera settings. Just kidding! Gotcha. Uh, no, he was totally down to change them. I mean, we can give it a try. In just a couple of minutes and a few tweaks later, Raker was looking much better. I'm not entirely convinced that he's the worst mechanical champ yet. So it's time for the Seabell mech test. Think about it, if he didn't know that his camera settings were bad, maybe he can't tell if his mechanics are bad and he might be a mechanical god. Okay. Boom, goal. Not the best air dribble because it was one touch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, it works in champ. Let's look at a dribble. I just want to see your dribbles and maybe like a flick towards the end of the dribble. You can start it from maybe, yeah, this side. And you failed. So that was kind of weird, but it got away from me. <laughs> Is that typical or? Oh yeah, definitely like, um, it's definitely hard to maintain a dribble. Okay, maybe he's not a mechanical god and this is not a good start, but maybe he can pull off a ceiling shot. All right, didn't no ceiling there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he didn't even get to the ceiling. Raker, my man, I, I think we should spend a little time in free play or at least the rings map. But no biggie, maybe I should give him a break on the aerial shots since it's clear he is not ready for them. I know this is like your worst nightmare to do all this, but I wanna see you like an attempt to flip reset. Okay. It didn't get it, but it was uh, the right idea. And how about, do you know speed flipping? Do you know how to speed flip? Um, I guess you could say I know the theory, but I don't know. I, I don't really speed flip, so. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you're you're not a mechanical player. <laughs> not uh, not no. as like an insult, but like it's definitely not what another champ might be like. You're not, you're probably going to be like under the average. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, I take passes and things or I'll like I'll pass to teammates or, you know, generally play defense like it's a decent way to climb. This guy might be the best teammate in the world if he's able to hang out and champ with just teamwork alone. Like, you know for sure that this guy is rotating the back post and is playing the game smart, covering all of your mistakes. In fact, I'm so confident that he's a solid teammate that I'm going to play my placement games with him. Well, I'll just play a couple of placement games, but we'll do that right after this next test. I call this test 
the ego test. I have here a pro replay, and I'm gonna tell Raker that one of the pros is not playing the game correctly. If his ego is large, he'll most likely call out the pro for mistakes when in reality, we are all trash compared to a pro and we are in no position to critique them. If he passes this ego test, then we can go into rank together. We'll watch, it's within the first minute, so by the, by the four minute mark, I'll ask and see if you notice anything. Not noticing anything too bad yet. Okay. Used a lot of boost for that. Okay. Boom. But it worked. So any anything that you you just think of maybe that one moment where using too much boost or? Um, that was the only thing that I really saw. Dude. I, I like you, man. It's, I can tell. So yeah, there. I kind of, I kind of tricked you a bit. There, there really is nothing wrong. I mean, he's a, he's a pro player, and like, this is just a random replay. I actually had no idea what was gonna happen. I mean, <laughs> okay. They, they're just good at the game. Like, there was nothing really wrong. Like, maybe a pro coach could find something. I don't really see anything. Uh, I think yeah. that was your overall feeling too, maybe. <laughs> I, yeah, I didn't notice any, like, I mean, this is weird, but, I mean... He did the most of what he could, like, like kind of missed. I couldn't call that out as, like, some trend that right, yeah. you know, is an issue with this game. I knew it. I, I knew you're, this is the type of guy you are. I just knew you wouldn't say anything, like, you wouldn't trash on him. <laughs> Something that I believe is underrated and a strong quality to have in Rocket League is the ability to realistically judge yourself and others' gameplay. Raker is like the O negative blood type of Rocket League. He's a rare breed. Oh, and I almost forgot. Before I take him into my placement games, I threw him into a 1v1 against a mechanical champ to see who would win. Remember I mentioned this in the beginning of the video? What, did you think I would forget or something? Because I'm getting old? I am getting super old though I somehow hurt my kneecap just walking. All right, a 1v1, smart versus mechanical, AKA smart versus dumb. This is gonna be, this gonna be free for you. Oh boy. Great right. kickoff. When's like the last time you like played ones or tried to grind it out? Um, Let's see, I probably, okay. probably like three seasons ago, um, four seasons ago maybe. You've tried it, you've tried it. Yeah. Uh oh, the free goal. Kickoffs are, are solid. They get the job done. I guess this is also like a new uh, camera setting for you, so this could be totally awkward. Yeah, could be. Oh, he faked me. Dude, you're so good at like defense. I can tell. Like your boost management and just like staying a little bit more calm on defense is. I can tell it's there. I had no idea he had a flip or something. <laughs> yeah, he had a ceiling shot kind of reset. Oh, great try. Oh, you got it. Oh, oh, no. I just, <laughs> oh no! Oh, cut it out of the video. Cut it out, cut it. <laughs> yeah, I might have accidentally jinxed him a little there, but he was holding it down for a long time. I just think that the mechanical champ started to realize that Raker was not able to keep up with some mechanics and started to straight up abuse him. Five dollar for every time that my life took a sour turn. I be rich and rolling baller and hollering at your girl. Do you have that? Oh, that's, that's pretty good. Like that's nice. Mechanical champs. Not someone we want to 1v1. Oh that's a good hit. No way. Who is this guy? Who did I, who did I get in? <laughs> yeah, ones is not the place to go if you don't have a lot of mechanics. You just easily get outplayed by an opponent who flies over you. Regardless, Raker is a team player who I'm excited to take into my placement games right now. Get ready for some teamwork. Oh, and a uh, fair warning, I am really rusty. I've barely played Rocket League in the last few months, so I'm gonna need Raker to carry me. So this will be, this will be cool. I I'm curious to see how this goes. Let's see if we can get three Ws. Think we can do it? I think we can do it. I'm gonna try yeah. to get like a pass, yeah. Not the best pass ever. Oh, I got bumped, it's probably internet. They were double committed. I probably yeah, didn't bad. need to go up for it. All good. Here he goes, he's flying. You go for aerials. Oh, I didn't expect them to miss. I do. I'm just uh, not getting any air dribbles, really. Yeah, nice. Should be in. Yeah, 
chilling. So far, this game has been super chill. Besides not going up for a lot of aerial plays, I'd say that Raker is positioning and passing like a grand champ. I feel like I can trust him with my life. I mean, he's going to hit the ball in the right spots, like right here. I can pass back to him and he's going to take over the play just fine. He is underrated. Well, <laughs> maybe not underrated because he's kind of correctly rated for his mechanics, but I guess if he got his mechanics, he would be a grand champ, no question. Do your thing. But all I got. Try to play it out to you. Nice. Good push up, good pressure. Nice, good stuff there. Nice. Teammates would not be like just there for the ball. <laughs> Oh, I couldn't oh, get there. So close. Yeah, I feel like I'm just taking a lot of 50-50s right in front of their net. Um, All good. It's just not working out. I guess we'll just keep it on the ground here for now. Dang. Nice. So close. Oh. Dang, this is like a dramatic game. <laughs> we got two and a half minutes almost of <laughs> overtime. Got a shadow defend a little no. bit. Don't do it. And that is not shadow defending. That's my bad completely. I had no idea that was going to be the 50. It was Oof. just a bad, yeah, bad 50. That, that's actually on me, 100%. Dude, you were like fun to play with. Let's go again. <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not creating a lot of chances, but I'm just trying to be a good teammate. Yeah. You're denying a lot of yeah. things too. I probably, uh, I saw you there and I just wasn't sure. Back. I just wanted to practice my bounce dribbling. <laughs> yeah. Nice one. Oh no, I'm so washed. Ah, uh, okay. I'm definitely trolling a little bit. I'm sorry, Raker. We would definitely be winning more, but I just I have to go in for the ball. I can't help myself. I don't know. Got to score a goal for the video. Yeah. Oh, he bumps. Oh, he fakes. Okay. Uh, that was a weird interaction. Nice. There. <laughs> <laughs> he wave went for dash. a wave dash. <laughs> <laughs> On his teammate's head, yeah. We tried as hard as we could to win, but ended up losing one to two. And honestly, it was pretty much all my fault. But we have one more game, and this is going to be the one, I believe it. This is the one for YouTube. Yeah. Everything else doesn't matter. <laughs> we can just even cut the whole rest uh, last two games. <laughs> no, but it is like, you're just super stable. Like, I haven't really seen any whiffs. Like, maybe like a few arrow whiffs. Like, I mean, I've probably whiffed more than you, actually, so far. And you're just like... Getting the ball centered and everything's just like super solid. Hey, it's easy when I get to just watch the kickoff goals. Nice shot. There's a tiny bit of mechs here. Hey, there it is. Yeah, I mean, you know, like my sh my shooting isn't terrible. Oh, I tried to like fake him out somehow. I don't really have the boost for this. Oh, good. Nice. Yeah, we oh, get we get those. The rust is nice. coming off slowly. It only took two games. Yeah, this this game felt like a W right out of the gate. As the map was loading, I knew it was, it was free. Oh, uh oh. Rip. The finish up a jinx, <laughs> I think. I guess I just thought I had more time. Dude, don't we all? I don't want to bore you guys too much with this game because honestly, we kind of took care of business. Well, we didn't completely take care of business. It was actually closer than it should have been. But you know what? Raker and I were just talking about random things during the game, kind of on autopilot, vibing out. Honestly, it was so fun to play with this guy. He was super chill the whole time and I could see us queuing together a lot more. This wasn't supposed to be a love story type of video, but maybe that's what this is. The worst champ in Rocket League is actually the best teammate in Rocket League. Huh. Who would have thought? Thanks for playing, Raker. It was an honor. Now, just please go into free play.